The word mensuration refers to that branch of mathematics which deals with the measurement of geometrical magnitudes such as perimeter, area, volume, etc. Mensuration is divided into two parts. Plane mensuration, which deals with the measurement of sides, perimeters and areas of plane figures like triangles, rectangles, squares, circles, etc. Solid mensuration deals with the measurement of surfaces, areas and volumes of solid figures such as cubes, spheres, cones and cylinders. We will learn to find the perimeter and area of a triangle, rectangle, square, parallelogram, etc. In this chapter, we will study the following concepts. Perimeter, area of triangle. Perimeter and area. Perimeter of any figure is the length of the boundary of that figure. Let us understand this concept with the help of an animation. The area of a figure is the amount of surface enclosed by the lines bounding it. Perimeter Let us learn about perimeter of some two-dimensional figures. Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to the sum of all its sides equal to L plus B plus L plus B or 2 into L plus B. Perimeter of a square is equal to sum of all its sides or 4 into A where A is the side of the square. Also, note that the perimeter of a parallelogram is the same as the perimeter of a rectangle that is 2 into L plus B. Perimeter of a triangle is equal to sum of its three sides that is A plus B plus C. Area let us learn about the area of a rectangle. Area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth or L into B square units. Its diagonal is equal to under root length square plus breadth square or under root L square plus B square. Let us learn about area of a square. Area of a square is equal to side into side or A into A square units. Its diagonal is equal to under root side square plus side square or under root a square plus a square or under root 2a square. Area of a parallelogram. Let us learn how the area of a parallelogram is equal to the area of rectangle through this animation. Let us consider a parallelogram with base B and altitude H. Let us draw a straight line anywhere inside the parallelogram to cut it into two parts. After this, we will place the cutout part on the right hand side to form a rectangle. So, we can say that the area of a parallelogram is equal to the area of a rectangle that is B into H. Area of a triangle. Let us consider a parallelogram with base B and height H. If we cut it into two parts by drawing a diagonal inside it, then two triangles will be formed. So we can say that area of a triangle is equal to half the area of a parallelogram or is equal to 1 by 2 into B into H. Example Let us learn more about the concept of area through this example. Consider a field 225 meter long and 175 meter wide with two roads in its center of uniform width of 5 meters each, one parallel to its length and the other parallel to its breadth. We want to find out the cost of leveling the roads at the rate of 3 rupees per meter square. Here, the area of the road parallel to the length is equal to 225 into 5, which is equal to 1125 meter square. Also, the area of the road parallel to the breadth is equal to 175 into 5, which is equal to 875 meter square. Area of the shaded portion is equal to 5 into 5, that is equal to 25 meter square. So, the area of the two roads is equal to 1125 plus 875 minus 25 meter square that is 
1975 meter square therefore the cost of leveling the road at the rate of 3 rupees per meter square is equal to 3 into 1975 that is rupees 5925 perimeter and area 